Good morning, Modern Steaders. I think today's gonna be an interesting day. It's 31 degrees out and it's raining. And they're calling for freezing rain and ice pellets and luck. Ah, look at that ice. It's days like these, I'm glad I got studded snow tires. Studded snow tires really pay for themselves in this kind of weather. Good morning, girls. I say it's raining out. Are you going to come out? <laughs> nope. Oh, man, it's raining out. Are you rolling around in there, buttercup? You're covered in straw. You goats are funny when it comes to the rain. <laughs> and they shake. I know, you girls better get used to this weather. You gotta have a long winter in this barn if you don't. I cut their chaff hay way back. Willow gets just enough to keep her content in the milking stand. And then Blossom and Buttercup, they don't even get a handful. And we're only giving that to them once a day during milking. And I've been cutting the flakes of hay in half so I can give them hay, but only a little bit at a time. So instead of giving them a flake, I take it, I've been cutting it in half, This way I can give them half a flake and not a whole one. You want your hay? Watch out, get down. You girls have to pace yourselves. They're like, we're goats. We don't know what that means. You're waiting, Figaro. You're a silly cat. He's like a dog waiting for us to do our chores. The light's on on the tree over there. I didn't shut them off, so I'm assuming they must shut off automatically once it gets so bright outside. Which, that's a good thing. Go ahead, go before I run you over. You got yourself a box for it there, Figaro? Pluto got a haircut yesterday. We ordered a different sweater, but it hasn't come in in time. So she's wearing one of Gina's old hooded sweatshirts. Uh, crazy dog. Pasture raised, home cured bacon.
scared them. Having scrambled bacon and egg omelet. Not omelet. It's a scrambled omelet. Not scrambled omelet. Yeah. What's that? I know, it keeps blowing around. Wanna go for a ride, Big Row? Big Row is in this place, see what happens. Figaro got in there before Pluto has. I'm gonna use the sled today to bring firewood in the house. I'm hoping it works out pretty well. We're gonna find out. This is one of the reasons I bought the sled. I'm hoping that we can haul the firewood in it pretty good. It's too long. We can't go that way. We have some pretty wide firewood. Or long firewood. See how it goes. It's not a huge incline right here, but it is uphill a little bit. curious to see how it does coming in. Well, I will say that's a lot easier than a wheelbarrow. And the Kubota, you can't come in the house with the Kubota. So it's nice to be able to unload the firewood and not having to walk in and out of the house. It is nice seeing those chickens out. Moving around, scratching and pecking and acting like chickens. We have some leftover pumpkin cookies from Thanksgiving that were kind of a meh nah, fail. But I bet you the chickens will like them. Next time I come back out from getting firewood, we'll have to grab them. The snow is very mealy and hard to get traction in when you're dragging the sled, but it goes good with the firewood in it. finish stacking this wood and I'll be right back. The sled loaded up with firewood almost holds the same amount as the Kubota. I've got some leftover pumpkin something. The best part about having animals, nothing goes to waste. We're gonna turn them into eggs. And I bet the, I was just gonna say, I bet the chickens will love it.
Where are you hiding, Moose? <laughs> Glad to see the chickens enjoying them. Happy chickens means good taste in eggs. Might as well check and see if we got any eggs in the nesting box. Look at that one, two, five. Awesome, that's what we've been averaging lately is five. And that's more than enough for us. And then once the other pullets start laying, We'll have even more. Which they probably won't they probably won't start laying until spring, which will be perfect. It's about 40 degrees out right now. And just the other day, we were three below zero. <sighs> you stick out good in that neon sweater. Crazy dog. Gonna make a sausage, egg, and potato breakfast bowl for the week. I got my potatoes in the Instant Pot. I'm going to add a cup of water, and I'm gonna cook them halfway in the Instant Pot. Even? You don't like hedgehogs, do you? One of our viewers, Jeff, thanks Jeff, just sent us up this gorgeous cutting board. Get to use it for the first time. You didn't make that, did you? Yes, I did. That came out awesome. Cool beans. I'm gonna add some avocado oil to the potatoes. Some paprika, pepper and garlic powder for seasoning. And then our onions we're gonna fry up. Gotta brown up our breakfast sausage. What are you making? Leftover pie. Leftover turkey smorgasbord pie? Yep. Gonna be delicious. Turkey, corn, gravy, potatoes, squash, carrots, whatever we have for leftovers is going in a casserole dish. And Except for the stuffing. I'm having that for lunch. Saving the stuffing for sandwiches. That'll be good.
I think it goes like that door. Well, I keep going in and out of it. I'm going to combine it all together now. And then this will be our breakfast for the week. You want to get Say it's Thanksgiving all in one casserole. You should have done that for Thanksgiving. Well, you did have the leftovers. It's or you can mix the squash in it. It looks good. I'd only have a little bit of squash. And it's about potatoes. Not on that? No. No? Not right now. Well, I'm very thankful that the freezing rain and rain didn't get any worse than it was in the morning. That would have made for one nasty day. Luckily, we didn't have to go out too much yesterday. We were able to stay home, get a lot of meals prepped for the upcoming week, enjoy family, enjoy some good food, and I just hope we can inspire you guys to get into the kitchen and reconnect with your food. Cooking food with whole ingredients is just just so much fun to do with the family and it just tastes so much better than anything you can get at the store. Those bacon cheeseburgers we made in our last video, man I've never made bacon cheeseburgers before with pasture raised bacon and grass fed beef. That was the best cheeseburger I ever had. I can't wait to make more of those. And I can't wait to hear what you guys are cooking up in your kitchen. I just love hearing what you're making. love trying out some of your recipes. I love getting some inspiration from what you're making and it, it makes it a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.